Now trending with Alex Dennis. Seems to be a musical theme this yep. morning. Hi, Alex. Okay, so the number one trending topic right now, we have a music video, okay. and it is Eminem's new music video, mm. Headlights. For years, Eminem's strained relationship with his mother has been fodder for his album and music videos, including his smash it, cleaning out my closet. But his mother is at the center of his new music video again, but this time, he's apologizing to her. The title, Headlights, refers to their last meeting as she drove away. He became fixated on the headlights of the car as he coped with feelings of, quote, overwhelming sadness, he raps. Fittingly, he dropped his new music video, shot on location in his native Detroit, on Mother's Day. Mm. And people are still talking about Cher's Dress to Kill tour stop at the Barclays Center Friday. The 68-year-old wore head-turning costumes, as always, and her hairstyles get bigger and better, belting out those catchy hits like The Beat Goes On, If I Could Turn Back Time, <laughs> and The New Woman's World. Have you ever seen her, Chris? She's phenomenal. Yeah. Cher wasn't the only big name star to make an appearance during Cindy Lauper's opening set. Rosie O'Donnell and Liza Minnelli joined in to sing, of course, girls just want to have fun. And keeping with the musical theme of the morning, this year's Eurovision winner has people tweeting. Performing in a skin-tight dress with long hair and a full beard, Australia's Conchetta Wurst became Australia's first Eurovision winner since 1966. Miss Worst on stage drag persona was created by a 25-year-old singer named Thomas Newart. Conchetta won the contest with the song titled Rise Like a Phoenix. Now her beard is trending as people post pictures of famous faces with facial hair, including the Queen, Angelina Jolie, Kim Kardashian, and of course, Justin Bieber. I think that's as much of a full beard as he'll, <laughs> he'll ever get. The Eurovision competition was created following World War II to encourage good relations between countries. It draws a television audience of about 180 million people in 45 countries, so it's a really big deal. Mm, yeah, wow. I wonder it's trending. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, heavy duty. So there, something I to talk about, right? For sure, thank you so as much. As always, thank you, Alex.